Hello and welcome to day 77 of the Mindfulness Challenge. Today is all about positivity. Hello and welcome to day 77 of the Mindfulness Challenge. What, where are we? All the sevens, 77. I wanted to do today really about positivity and and, and get a little bit, a um, little bit deeper, if you like, into the um, spiritualized nature of it all. So, you know, I talk about spirituality and spiritualism. And as you know, I'm a Christian spiritualist. So I believe in spiritualism. That's my belief system. I believe in the ability to connect and work with spirit. Um, and I also believe that we need to be our true selves connecting with nature and, and finding our inner self through spirituality. And today is number 77. And I wanted to just do a little bit, obviously, numerology uh, about the words number 77. 77 is made up of two numbers. Don't have to be a mathematician to work that one out. It's number seven and number seven. And seven really, when you have two numbers together like this, it amplifies it, it doubles it down. So seven re represents a lot of things about inner wisdom and intuition and psychic abilities and spiritual enlightenment and development. But the one thing it talks about completely is the need to manifest from within positive attitude. Become more diligent and determined in your goals and have the understanding that the universe and angels are there for you to help your success and to inspire and uplift you. And that you are a positive example to so many people. You inspire so many people with the things that you do. And the ability to have that beautiful spiritual energy and to be your true self. And I did some work um, last night in Circle and I do trance mediumship. And I had a guide come through and said to me, the need to be true self is truer than the acceptance itself. In other words, be yourself. Don't be somebody else just to be accepted and allow that positive energy to come out. So today we're going to do a, quite a long meditation about um, positivity. And in this meditation, if you like, you can burn some incense. You could light a candle and you could press pause now and, and go and get something that allows you to do that. I use these beautiful things. If I can get it to it, zoom in on it. Yep. Nag Champa, which is, you know, a beautiful um, incense cone. I don't know if zoom in on it. It doesn't, but there we go. Um, <laughs> an incense cone. And I've lit a few of those and I've got the energy right in the room. In this instance, I am going to play some music and I'm going to put a picture up and I want you to get comfortable. So I want you to get into this space now. It's quite a long meditation, this, but get into that really comfortable position where you're not going to be disturbed and, and dim a light and, and reduce distractions. If, as I said, if you want to light a candle or burn some incense with this, that's fine. I've used um, dry white sage leaves as well to help cleanse and, and clear the area. But I want you to sit with your back straight either, you know, you could be on a cushion or on a stool or, or in a straight back chair. I want you to half close your eyes and just rest your hands on your lap, either palms down or palms up. And starting with your diaphragm, take the deepest of deep breaths, filling your lungs until they can't take any more air. And just hold this for a few seconds before Slowly, ever so slowly, letting the air escape from your mouth and your nose. And keep letting the air escape until there's none left. And then give, just give that little bit of a, an extra push really to empty your lungs. And then pause for a few seconds before slowly beginning the process with those deep diaphragm centered breathing. Gradually filling your lungs with air until you can't inhale anymore and continue this process for another four more breaths keeping the whole process slow and deliberate and feeling yourself relax and become more grounded as you keep inhaling and slowly relaxing and I want you to imagine a white luminescent energy coming to your body through the crown of your head the top of your head your crown chakra this is source energy. This energy comes from source, from the divine. Source from 
which all things emanate, the creator of the universe and every living being, plant, creature and soul. And as you bring in this white luminescent source, energy with each deep diaphragm sort of breath, and imagine it's reaching and flooding every cell in your body so that your body is gleaming and shining with this white beautiful light. This energy is pure positivity. And just remembering that positive energy is twice as powerful as negative energy. So by inhaling this beautiful light, you are purging any negativity in your system. It simply cannot exist in your body as you gradually fill the body with this beautiful energy. Consciously making the breaths even slower and longer and imagine the negative black energy being dispatched from your system. And let's just at this moment, just take a moment to examine our mindset and try and assess how positive we're feeling on a scale from one to 10. We're gonna move that feeling whichever notch up at the scales on the positive side. So if we're feeling a little flat and low, let's move that up a notch to feeling indifferent and just calm. If we're feeling down and really depressed, then let's move that up a notch to feel just a bit subdued. If you're feeling moderately cheerful and nothing to complain about, then let's take that up one notch to feeling joyful and not a care in the world. It's not difficult to manipulate your mood levels in this by some, so many small increments, but this has to be an automatic effect of increasing your positivity. As I've said before, we have tens of thousands of thoughts each day. It'd be impossible to try and control all of those individual thoughts, but it would be much easier to control our mood and, the, and then the thoughts that follow the mood. And this is the way to enhance our levels of pos uh, positivity. I just want you to increase these levels of positivity. So just let your mental, mentally start counting our blessings. Let's start with our health, assuming that we're healthy. If we have children, add them to the blessings, even though they might drive us crazy on times. And let us thank the universe for our house, our warm bed with clean sheets, our clothes, our phones, with all the wonderful functionality, the food on our plates, the lovely meals we've eaten, the wonderful holidays we've had, the books we have loved, and the CDs we own. Give thanks and gratitude for the concerts that we've enjoyed, the interventions that make our lives easier, and a country that we live in which is hopefully safe, democratic, and prosperous. The trees, the grass, the plants, the leaves around us, the friends we have, our parents, our sisters and brothers, our work colleagues, our friends, people we socialise with, sport, mentors, guides, loved ones, or pets, or cars, music systems, our countries, the, the places we've visited, the people we've met or yet to meet, our looks, our body, there are so many things to be grateful for, but now we've mentally taken stock of our blessings. Let's go back to the breathing. And just take some really deep breaths, starting again with the diaphragm, slow, long breaths in, and slow, long exhalations out until there's nowhere left. Really feeling the whole body breathing and the whole body relaxing. And now we're gonna keep this positive feeling and take it with us throughout the day. Whenever we feel a negative emotion entering our minds, we're gonna think back to the blessings in our life and transport ourselves away from the present to a beautiful place that is our dream location. It might be a tropical sandy beach with gently swaying palm trees, and it might be a wooden bench in a clearing at the beautiful forest. But take yourself to this idyllic location and just relax as you walk along the beach or you sit on your lovely bench. So if you find yourself in an extremely stressful situation at work, just trot off to the toilet or then take advantage 
that your mind has this paradise to allow you to feel good, to mood change, and increase your levels of positivity rising again. If you're not at work, go to your bedroom, go somewhere where you can have this beautiful space. It's impossible to think negative thoughts when you're feeling cheerful or happy. And just take yourself to that blissful location and that big smile you can feel now spreading across your face. Just listen to my words, I can explain that we all have low moments and often we wake up for whatever reason we feel glum. But check that emotion and recognize you're feeling glum or down. Become detached from yourself like an outside observer and say to yourself, ah yes, I can see I've got the blues today. I acknowledge this without judgment and then consciously switch my mood to positive and I'm actually gonna trick the brain into moving into a positive mindset by forcing a big grin on my face and then laughing out loud and saying to myself, how ridiculous to be glum and down. I have been given the privilege of another day on this wonderful, beautiful planet. And I'm gonna make the very best of this day because it could be my last. And how would, how would I be cursing myself now if I wasted this opportunity? I'm gonna to live today to the fullest extent and try to bring happiness to others and help to others and not focus on my own dramas and misfortunes. But I'm gonna walk with a spring in my step and go forward and make a difference to others I come across. I will reach out and praise someone today. Reach out and thank someone, reach out and make someone smile Today's a good day. There, within minutes, your mood will change. The mood has switched from a black one to a cheerful one. And keep the momentum going and remember that it's, it's later than you think. In other words, you may have less time to do all these wonderful things than you think. So stay positive, stay happy. Think of your blessings. Think of your luck at having another day on this planet. Stay focused on the good things in life and remember that challenges are tests on this laboratory called Mother Earth. How we react to those challenges really defines us. And when your mindset is in a positive mindset, anything is possible. Doors open wide and opportunities unfold before us. The world is our oyster. Stay focused on the pure potential, potential you have and everything is possible. If you can think it, you can have it. The power of intention makes the impossible possible. We are pure positivity, pure potential, pure love and pure kindness. Give out and it will come flooding back multifold. Today, more than ever, help someone and help them who are surrounding you. This is the power of the law of attraction. What you give your attention to, you get more of. So keep your thoughts positive and the benefits that will flood into your life will be innumerable. Rejoice for what you've discovered. Understand the secret to life, happiness and success is your positive our mindset and the beautiful energy that you have. So take a deep breath in and then breathe out. And stay focused today. Stay focused on the positive that your lives will change others. Breathing in and breathing out. And when you're ready, slowly open your eyes and come back into the room. I think sometimes we can all get a little bit lost or caught up in, you know, the big pictures and and the, the amazing work that lots of people do on a large scale. 
But we can make a difference to our lives. We can make a difference to other people's lives by just changing some of the, the small things and, and trying to keep that positive mental attitude, the trying to keep positivity that allows us to, you know, be love and give love. And today, do something positive for yourself. And tomorrow, do something positive for someone else. But if you have those moments of, hmm, I doubt and I can't and I'm feeling down, just remember, you have the gift to change it because today you have the gift of breath. And the gift of breath is the only gift you need to help yourself and to help others. So let's use that gift today and move forward. Be love and give love. Good morning, Julian, I love you. Happy day 77. Keep positive, and I'll see you tomorrow on day 78. I love you lots. Bye.